So this was a kind of secret find, something that I didn't know about this uh, when I first got it at the garage sale. Uh, as again, I had seen this, but what I didn't know was that hidden in the actual Speak and Spell unit is this, a ET Fantasy module for Speak and Spell. It's kind of like a cartridge you're gonna see. Um, you can barely see there. And I'm gonna show you how you put it in here in a minute. You'd think it would do something awesome, like maybe have some kind of animation of E.T. go across the screen, or certainly say in an awesomely computerized voice, you know, E.T. phone home, or something like that. It does not. All it seems to do is give you a bank of extra words. I mean, slapping the E.T. name on it is obviously just making use of the fact that the Speak and Spell prom uh, feature prominently in the movie E.T. So, beyond the fact that they give you this nice little booklet with lots of bunch of pictures of the movies and stuff. There's a couple of games you'll see in here, but all the games, so there's E.T.'s Planet game, E.T.'s Hideout, Save the Frogs, but all of them basically say, decide to go first and then play spell. And basically all of them say that. So, you know, play spell at the level you want. And all you're doing is if you get the word correctly, you know, you got, you get, so on this one, if you get the word correctly, uh, on the first try, you move two spaces. If you get it on the second one, you go one space. If you miss it, yeah, it's the other person's turn. So it, it's, again, there's really nothing extraordinary about it that stands out as something unique uh, related to E.T. Another thing that was helpful was, uh, this is the Fun With Words book. It's missing the cover. It's supposed to look like this. So this is page three. You can see, again, missing the thing. But what I, I didn't immediately know, this was in the middle, okay? And it was initially attached with a staple. It, and I didn't understand what it was. It says remove this letter. And you actually do want to remove it. It actually opens up. And it gives you the instructions as a parent. So um, so families and modules, blah, 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 word list. And again, what's interesting is it's got the word list here. Uh, and then also very helpfully, it tells you about the module. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. You hear those four tones. It's telling you it's working right. And it starts with the spell. I do not have the ET module in yet. It's right here. But I just want to show you how, again, it's going to take uh, from the level uh, one of these words. So it's spell level A, the easiest. So I'm going to say go. Spell most. Okay, so I'm thinking it's most. Partially because I cheated. Yeah. One thing I got to say about this is that they have the raised keys. Uh, the newer ones have the membrane keys, which are, it's just not the same feel. So I got to enter. That is correct. So let me just quickly show you. I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, turn it back on. And I'm going to set it to level D. D. And I'm going to press go. Spell couldn't. Pudding, couldn't, couldn't, maybe couldn't. That's, and actually it is here. Oh, it's with that apostrophe. Let's see. So, couldn't. Yeah, wow. Well. C. Okay. O. U. L. D. N. Yeah, so it, it doesn't say apostrophe. It's boop. N. T. T. That is correct. Now spell cleanser. Cleanser? That can't possibly... Oh my god, that is. What the heck? Why would they put cleanser in a thing designed for kids? So what I'm going to do now is show you how to put in the uh, ET module, and we'll see that it should pull from some different words that do not show up on this list. All right, so the first thing I've done is I've unplugged it. If you're using batteries, you have to take the batteries out because you cannot get to where the module goes without um, taking the batteries out. So... I'll flip that open. Here's what it says. So again, what you're going to do is there is a slot. This doesn't have a slot. So the slot is going to go this way, and the label is up. So the label's knocked down. The label is up and going that way. And so you're going to try to get it in the middle. So it's kind of tough to get it in here. Um, I found if I just... Again, the label's up towards this way. If I just put it in straight, it doesn't want to go. But if I felt like as, as I started to slide it in, I tip it up, so I'm going to exaggerate. 
So it's like I'm tipping it up this way. Again, it's not nearly that much. But as I start to slide it in, I'm starting to have it tipped a little bit. And it goes in better than it would otherwise. This tab should show still. The other reason it has to be in is because if you're going to put batteries in, it has to be out of the way of the batteries. And to remove the cartridge, I found... I don't know, I couldn't get it out like that. And it actually shows you in the directions that you can kind of use a screwdriver and wiggle it out. I'm twisting it back and, oh, see, I friggin' busted it. It's not good, really, honestly. There we go. Okay, so that's how you get it out. Hard to see in the video, but you're trying to pry it. But just be careful because that plastic is not strong after... Uh, was this 82 so after about 40 years all right so i've plugged it back in the module is in now i'm going to press enter or i'm sorry i'm going to press on and you're going to see when it starts up there's no indication whatsoever that you have a module in there same exact sound spell a nothing that's going on the way to kind of turn on so again if i do it right now let me do it real quick i'm going to say go i'm on level a spell angel angel and Angel is on the list, okay? Um, I think I have to turn it off to get to the new list. Uh, yeah, because I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on. And now I want to press module, okay? So there's the module select. So that's, this, that's telling you that you're using a module now. So again... I want ET to go flying up into the sky or something to happen, but it doesn't. It still says spell A. But now when I say go, it should be a word that is not on this list. Let's see. Spell makes as when ET makes the communicator. Makes? Oh, maybe Elliot makes. M A K E S. That is correct. Now spell. The mystery word, the word for what Harvey is. What Harvey is. Oh, okay, so at least there's something going on here that's different. So in this book, mystery words, the word for what Harvey is. So he's a dog, so I'm assuming I'm going to put in dog here. D-O-G. You are correct. Next spell, asleep. As in, asleep in the forest. Okay, asleep in the forest. So again, so this clearly is related to E.T., so I got to give him credit. I thought it was just going to be the actual word bank, but it is... A-S-L-E-E-P. Um, -E -E but they are making it related to E.T., so that's cool. That is right. Now try, say you, as in, say you, the frogs. <laughs> Okay, well, see, now that's cool. Oh, boy. I might not want to sell this. What? Ed. Ed? E D. That is incorrect. The correct spelling of Ed is D E A D. Oh, my God. Ed, try alone. Jeez, oh, my God. Dead and alone. This is kind of making me depressed. That is correct. Here is your score. Eight correct, two wrong. You gonna say good job or something? Come on, man. So, <laughs> so I got two of them wrong. So, um, so, so I appreciate that even though it's still not giving me any crazy ET stuff, it, it is at least doing ET related words and terms. So that that I'll appreciate. Now try evidence, as in ET's evidence. <laughs> and just to show you, here's level four words, and evidence is not on there. Level D, I should say. Let's see if I got it right, though. You are right. So it's asking me what the mystery word is, the word for what they did three times for a code. I said knock. I actually don't know. So what I'm actually showing you is that at most it can be eight characters. This, that is incorrect. Oh. The correct spelling of the mystery word is... K-N-O-C-K-E-D. Okay, so I don't know if I have the right to be a little ticked off there. I said knock instead of knocked. 
This is not nearly smart enough to say, well, you know, you said you said knock. I'll, I'll accept that. So, but it does work, and, and I'm pleased that um, it, uh, it again, it's doing something related to ET. So I'm playing mystery word, which is essentially hangman. I've put in the vowels a e i o u. Again, it's pulling from the same uh, list. S T N. Re. One letter left. This should be obvious, but all I can think of is repaint. P U N. Repaint. I guess I don't remember the movie well enough to know. All right, so hope you found this video useful about how to insert and use the modules. Uh, they're, a lot, they're more fun than I thought they were going to be. When I thought they were just adding a word bank, at least they've tried to connect it to the movie in this case. So uh, let me know. If you like this video, comments are appreciated. I do do uh, videos called Why Buy Would You Buy It, where I go, I show you my... Uh, when I go to garage sales, flea, flea markets, and the like, and I find things such as this. This was a garage sale find. I paid about $10 for it, so it was well worth it. It's a really cool item. Thanks for watching.